it'll be fun once I get out of jail. But you have all these prison stories. Oh no. Oh no. I dropped <laughs> the, the soap. Oh no. Uh, don't do that. Like no, stop, stop trying to kill NASA. Just let them be, give them more money. They're like you stupid Americans. Yeah, that was our crap movie. It's yeah. like, and they're like, when is Transformers Six coming out? <laughs> like, oh no, they're oh like, no, huh, that's one of our crap movies. Oh, they're like, what? Michael Bay is a genius. <laughs> no, no. Oh. no wonder we never get along with EV, with everyone else in the world. And that's what they want that wanted this app to be. Yeah. Like a, a more positive than anything. Like you want a better score, be a better person. Like that's what they're saying. Yeah. Like Hello and welcome to episode 85 of Thinking Outside the Pod. 85. That's five more than eight times ten. One Ooh. second. I need to, I need to I do this. I was about to say it's five more times eight. I was like, wait a second. No, no, I no. Need to, I need to check this math. I know. It checks out. Close enough. Good. <laughs> Actually, I got 86, but whatever. That's ah, right. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Same I, thing. <laughs> I can't maths. Um, but Fisher is back. Yes. He was yes. on his presidential tour yes how did that go very successful i am now president of i don't know some random like town hall or something like that i don't know all right yeah because on the episode we never said pre president of what? of what so you just got you became president and you came back i am now president of something nice very cool i'm not 100 percent sure what it is yet nobody's told me they said you're president i said okay all right and you got a plaque and yes. then, then you just walked out of the it's room a, yeah it says president of something they yeah. still they still haven't told me what it is president of yet so it's, a, it's a blank i'm, I'm starting to get worried of, i wonder if it's a ponzi scheme or something oh, no. so i'm like oh that's not good <laughs> they keep asking you for checks so if i'm in jail next week that means yes it ended up being a ponzi scheme so. oh yeah and yeah that'd be i guess bad for you for me because yes, that'll it'd be, be a good jail. thing to talk about i guess it'll be fun once i get out of jail but <laughs> you have all these prison stories oh no oh no <laughs> i dropped the, the soap oh no uh, okay don't do that <laughs> but uh so uh um, last week you weren't here yes. it was me and jason on the episode and uh kind of the biggest thing and kind of the thing that we branched off of for the other stories was NASA okay. uh, did a uh, major announcement, or they, they finally announced what they said. Announced they were an announce. announcement. Exactly. Yeah. They announced an announcement, and then on Monday they, hate they when announced companies do that. that announcement. Yeah. I hate that. You're like, what? Just, just announce it. Why are you? Why is you know? Yeah. Maybe do a tweet that says, "Hey, at this time, check in." But mm -hmm. don't, don't make like a big whole big thing. Saying, yeah. Hey, we're gonna announce. But on on an like, announcement to an announcement. I yeah. I think gone are the days of small announcements like everything's got to be major now to get any play well like, but still but they're like screaming into the a void right now because there's so much stuff yeah i guess i agree i don't like it <laughs> it's it's because you're just, just just maybe put like a thing on your website that says hey be here at this time you know or something mm -hmm. like that i mean yeah. you know don't, don't make a did they, did they do like a whole big video about it or what, um, what did they do there or did they just do like what i thought well, well yeah now yeah they tweeted out but then it got uh a lot of places picked it up and they a lot of speculation and oh stuff so like it was that. all so, the media and stuff okay yeah, it was no, the media NASA, that's having fun with it. okay so NASA NASA just okay. did because we were we were saying that they 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 termed it as a major announcement, yeah. and we were hoping that it was actually gonna be a major announcement, and not just like a small announcement. That what they sure. had to hype it up, but it turned out it it was like we thought it like life or something like that or something that would be major. Like if they actually oh, found sure. like a living cells or something like that would be crazy. But uh, but they did find uh, liquid water flows or what they suspect to be. Oh yeah, well, li yeah. It looks like yeah. He showed me some pictures and it looked like it, it could be the aftermath of some sort of flowing yeah. liquid. Yeah. So which which is amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Unsuspected. I I mean, you never would think, like, if you ever picture Mars, and I know what we picture Mars as is like from the movies and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like but a dry desert, red like desert planet. Yeah. 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 And but there's actually water flowing, and they said it's like in the warmer seasons, which makes sense. Because it sure. would be frozen otherwise or whatnot, and they sus they suspect it's salty, which which makes sense because it's rocks. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> a bunch it's, of bunch of dirt and rocks all over the place. So yeah, yeah. you'd think it would be yeah pretty salty. That would make sense. So so that's cool. They haven't investigated yet, so they're still they're kind of oh, they're like they're still, making uh, their best educated guess. Well, it looks like they still got to actually find some of said liquid. I mean, it look you know because like the picture you showed me, it definitely looked like it was erosion of rocks due to something. 
basically flowing flowing yeah yeah i mean it looked like the same thing of like if you look at like a, a waterfall or whatever how the rocks kind of erode and like little lines mm. and stuff like that I yeah mean, eventually it's, and they're th that erode. picture showed exactly that so so that's cool and i'm glad that uh that that mars rover is is finding stuff or that's that, cool yeah I, i'm glad nasa is still finding stuff because when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an astronaut. That was my dream. I think I, every kid wanted to yeah, be an I astronaut. Like the at one universal point things, time. and I got like space books and stuff like that, and it was all amazing. And then like recently, they were like defunding NASA, like no more, and they were like no more man trips because they're just too expensive. Yeah, like all that kind of stuff. It's I'm like no, stop, <laughs> stop trying to kill NASA. Just let them be, give them more money. Yeah, like I would, I would want them to have a lot of money. I mean, because I don't know. Space is the final frontier. Well, we I need, wonder we if at that point, it. I wonder if it needs to start like a private company. I, like if you like start privatized. to see private privatized companies well, are starting to get in on it. So I, I think that's kind of the feature yeah, for space, space travel. Like SpaceX and uh, is more of the privatized sector instead of the government sector. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, like the government did its part with getting us to the moon, mm -hmm. and now that's like okay, now that they have it, you know, unfortunately for a government standpoint, when you look at it, it's like, you know, I, I can understand why they're, you know, because it's like when you look at really in the long run what is it really doing for the country as a whole i agree yeah so there, there for a are private company that can spend all that money mm -hmm. like yeah sure let's do it just so we can be cool and you know and try to you know once they finally get you know if they can get the space flights and stuff like that then it's like yeah we can make that into a business venture and yeah. stuff we can make a shit ton of money doing that oh no i agree no i i i get it too um there are a lot of pressing issues especially like nowadays with all like the what's happening in like around the country with yeah. like Every, all the problems we're having yeah yes the government has things that they need to spend money on and for sure space like is Mar kind of yeah, not one of them right that now. gets pushed into the back or keeps getting lower down on the list but uh so, i it's i like the thing is like why did we go to the moon it's like what really did that cold war yeah why did, it was it was for <laughs> morale i mean essentially it was, it was for morale and and uh the american spirit and we're like Americans can do everything because we're awesome. Yeah. Russia, that's what you get. Screw you, Russia. Exactly. Yeah, you got to the space, whatever. Psh, whatever. I mean, still, I think I've mentioned Bug, it. Bugs get into space. Well, I've mentioned it before, and, like, the biggest, the big, you know, people trying to say the moon landing never happened. I'm like, I, you know, when you look at it at the time that it happened, if it wasn't real, Russia would have called us out of it hardcore. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, you guys are liars. You obviously didn't go to the moon. They'd and there's not been one person involved with the like that moon mission to say it was faked like yeah. ever it's all outsiders and conspiracy theorists and if like however many people needed were needed to do that mission like i'd say thousands of people yeah minimum minimum sure if it was faked one of them would have spilt the beans sure because, right especially now yeah yeah because right now. that's just money like that's that's like fame and or i mean notoriety 15 minutes, 15 of, fame, minutes of fame you know, at yeah. least and everyone wants that so I but know, no one but has. I mean, no one's no one stepped up and said, "Yeah, we faked it." That was a that was Stanley Kubrick uh, on a soundstage in Arizona. Yeah. Just just uh, no. I mean, a lot of people are saying that, but no one. Well, if it you know somebody by now would have found out. Yeah. Somehow, somebody by now would have been like, definitely for sure, this was fake. We're yeah. America isn't that great at keeping secrets, especially huge secrets like that. There's always obviously somebody always <laughs> gives it, put, gives it out. Or maybe they are. Maybe there are some secrets out. And oh, well, there, obviously there, there's have, some secrets. I have so. no. Yeah, there has to be. Uh, and I have no doubt we went to the moon. But uh, I don't. Yeah, there's and like MythBusters did an episode like all the like the conspiracy theorists that and they're like, <laughs> nope, everything that happened on the moon was plausible. Maybe. And yeah, like even some funny ones where like uh, it's like um, the picture of like Buzz Aldrin or uh, uh, Neil Armstrong on the moon, and they had like a picture of him. But uh, in the reflection of the the visor, it didn't show the other astronaut like holding up a camera shooting. And like, it's like, no, it was, it was mounted on their chest. <laughs> like, they're not going to hold up a, a camera, like one of those like disposable turn, like yeah. dial. Ca like, it's not like the camera was mounted down here. Like, sure. like and they're saying, no, they say, why isn't he holding up the camera to take a picture? It's like. Because that's not how that worked. Yeah, yeah you probably so, just pushed on their space suit yeah, or whatever. Yeah, took a some picture. some button and it took the picture that way. And I'm like, uh, yeah. So a lot of people who don't know what they're talking about making up things. So. Sure. I mean, that's 
internet in general mm-hmm. at yeah. times. <laughs> exactly. But uh, but yeah. So the Mars announcement. We last episode, me and Jason were kind of talking about what it could be, and it turned out to be that. So that's so cool. that's good. That's, that's I mean, a, it's not a, interesting. It's not a, uh, a like a uh, a small announcement. That's pretty major. That's, a, yeah, that's pretty mean, surprising, and it and it's uh, it has some implications. Sort of liquid possible signs of liquid on a barren planet, or what we thought was a barren planet. So. And that's really good because if we ever end up going to mars the the biggest thing you always hear about is like having to bring supplies up there like that like i i forgot the exact number but it's like if you want to take like a, a pound into mars it's like over or take a pound just into space it's like thousands of dollars just to take that so any if there's water up there then we can just find a way to filter it or some kind of liquid that has water in it yeah. maybe once we figure out what what this liquid is if we can yeah. filter out whatever it is we have water naturally on mars that we can use for yeah, I mean, whatever we need a little pump or whatever or your, yeah fil- we there would have to be some type of filtration process or something like that or some chemical process or boiling it or something whatever it yeah, may who, be. who knows yeah it depends on what type of liquid it is and know? yeah what what all it has like even it could it, be poisonous so yeah. i mean it might not be the best well but the first guy dies and go crap 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 don't drink it don't drink it <laughs> or they like mutate into some some like martian alien hybrid and then that's a whole that's a whole thing yeah, like, oh <laughs> hey well thing. we found life on mars it's we just kind of made it on accident <laughs> but uh but yeah so so big big thing and it kind of tied into a movie that's coming out the martian yeah no which, ironically yeah all and, these announcements i wonder if they t- that'd be funny if they timed it they're like we've known about this for months but like, we're waiting it for the for the movie and <laughs> i mean it's possible because uh, it's the the movie's called the martian it's with uh it's matt damon, matt damon and yeah. uh ridley scott is the director it's based on this book by andy weir called the martian and i i read the book and it's it's like a love letter to nasa and like it's praising like it's like NASA's the best, NASA's the best. Like they 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 have all these people that are really good at problem solving and stuff sure. like that. It's a whole problem solving uh movie and we talked about it before. And uh it's getting really good reviews right now. That's what I've been hearing. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, so I'm definitely yeah. There there's some people that said um there's a lot of technical jargon in there that's not really too well explained. But that was a, if if that is the way it is, then that's what it was like in the book too. I was gonna but, yeah, try to think of it. How else would you explain Something like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you're not going to understand everything. If you want to understand it, that's what the internet's for. Go to the internet and look it up. It's it's a uh, it's a science fiction. It's it's a hard science fiction yeah. uh, movie. Um, it's not like like Armageddon where they send like regular people up there. You're you're sending a scientist. They were sending a scientist up there yeah. or a group of scientists. Like what? Like actually, what happened? Like what astronauts are? They're geniuses, and um, so they're not going to dumb it down i'm well i'm glad they didn't dumb it yeah down. that makes it i think that makes it better when you actually use, you know because like you know i'd have to see the movie and then i'd have to maybe do some research afterwards it's like i wonder if everything to talk about in the movie is is real um well i bet I, there's probably a little bit that had to be made up to to make you know probably in the movie i bet in the book it's probably really close to reality but in the movie there may be a little bit of stretching well yeah there there is some things that he kind of extrapolated because um I, I talked about this before, but uh, on Tested on YouTube, they uh, did an interview with the author Andy Weir. Okay. Um, and he uh, he explained in the in that interview that the technology that he's described in his book isn't uh, almost all of it is currently available. Yeah. But he extrapolated it to make it more uh, more usable. Okay. Like so- there's this. Uh, like ion acceleration or ion engine okay. that is in the works right now, but it's not like used used at all right now. So, so he, he used actual science, but it may not be. It, it may be something that they're working on that they're 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 currently researching. Yeah. And so stuff. He, he's saying it's it's I don't know the exact figure, but he was like it's fifty years in the future or a hundred years in the future. He okay. didn't give a date. So um, he so he basically took technology that's being researched today and said, okay, well, what happened if this technology is at, it, once it's complete and it actually works and we can use it? And and okay. another thing was like spacesuits, like it takes like a team to put on a on and off a spacesuit because yeah. it's all these like levers and like, pieces and stuff everywhere yeah. and you can't reach it. So he just said, ah, one person can do it because sure because like because it's about a person trapped on Mars and he has to get out of his little habitat. So he has to 
put on a spacesuit and get we'll go out and that'd be kind of that'd be crappy if you <laughs> needed. He's like, people. oh, I can't put on my spacesuit. I have to stay in here and. I think at some point we'll get to that point to yeah. where we can have it to where it has like some sort of a locking mechanism on the front or something. Yeah. Or I mean, yeah, I, I I see that as I mean, especially like if we ever do have people based on Mars, I would think that that would be a a, a pretty we need big that. priority, like yeah. to have like just in case for emergencies or something, and people have to go out quickly. They don't want to have a whole stuff. team like. They'll figure out maybe it'll be, like, minimal. Like, maybe the suit won't be as advanced as, like, some of the other suits. But they'll have a suit that one person can put on quickly. For I mean, you you just need that. I mean. Sure, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. Especially uh, in a life or death situation, yeah. Yeah, so there's some things he kind of fudged. But, I mean, that's what you do. And It's science fiction. I mean, there's always going to be a little bit of fudging. That's just – it wouldn't wouldn't be interesting if they didn't fudge it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, all the – like measurements and stuff that he did like because he has to grow his own food and you saw in the trailers like him like getting having dirt and like planting uh plants in, in like the uh the space station thing yeah. the the have it's called it's, i forgot what it's called it's uh or what it stands for habitat some, astronaut some something <laughs> probably not that at all um but uh he's like plant he has to plant his own food supply because there's not enough food out in on the thing it was only meant to last a month yeah um but like all the uh like square footage and like because this guy had to calculate all that to get the or and like how much surface area everything has like all that is in the book like numbers upon numbers like a page full of just like him trying to figure out everything it's like oh if i use that table space for more plants and i can get an extra such and such plants and things like that or it's like i need some place to do the computer stuff so i can't have that table i need a table so God, like, sounds like a nightmare Jesus. like yeah it's it's he 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 went deep into it and it all makes sense in the book like you kind of just glaze over it in the book because it's just like a lot of numbers oh. like it's like I, i'm sure you got it right i'm not going to go back and check it but people have gone back and checked and he's and he's right like that's he's, pretty crazy yeah and it's it covers everything like even like gasoline uh breaking down gasoline to its like components and Jeez. like all this kind of stuff because he needed water or something or he needed something like that it's like something needed water or he needed water and he had i don't remember what it was but in the but i've also heard that it's the movie is true to true to the book like it's it's pr- well, it's good to which, hear because i mean you hear a lot of adaptations of you know books to movies they, they always kind of change some things around because they kind of have to because yeah. it's a different medium mm-hmm. but it sounds like this seems like a book that you know you don't really there's what else can you add i mean you're not gonna add just like a random martian alien yeah. just walking around oh or something. that would be the worst that, that'd be like oh come on we made yeah. it a survival horror you're like really i'm like it's already a suspense <laughs> as it is enough as it is yeah it's uh, there the stakes are already high he's alone yeah. on a on a planet and help is not coming. thirty thousand yeah. miles away or whatever it is but uh, yeah, so so I'm glad, and I'm I'm planning on seeing it soon. I just need the time. It's like one of the. Is few, it out yet? Yeah, it's out. It, okay. it was out. It was out uh, last last Friday. Oh, okay. I knew it was it coming out. out soon. I didn't realize it was already out. Yeah, it's already out, and it's top the box office yeah. so far, which is really good for science fiction because I love science fiction. And finally, we have like Interstellar and Gravity. Those mm-hmm. got top spots, and I'm glad science fiction is kind of coming back as a genre. Sure. Because it's been a lot of action, like superhero movies and stuff, yeah. doing everything these days. So I'm glad that it's my favorite genre. So I'm glad that that's happening. And superheroes, they kind of border on science fiction anyway. So a little bit, yeah. It's kind you know, of. They're like, I mean, let's, fantasy. Let's, let's make up fake science and go with it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, vibranium and this is like, yep, that's an element, and it's really hard, and it can bond Morph. to humans and stuff. Yeah. And now we have vision. Okay, all right, science. <laughs> that's tony stark typing away that's yeah. that's movie science there but uh so yeah so that's really good and um speaking of movies i guess we can uh <laughs> segue <laughs> um uh, kind of a uh so that's a good thing about movies uh, yes. bad things about movies transformers oh um, the the series that started out okay and just got worse. Started out and good, worse and, and then worse. it went eh, and then it went oh okay. No, I don't care. <laughs> then it went okay. I think they just kind of given up on this. They just announced Hasbro, the people who own the rights. Yeah, to, the toy company. Yeah, the yeah. toy company. 
just announced four more movies over the next decade more transformers and michael bay was mentioned in the article so he's going to be involved Yuck. so uh, i don't i don't understand i don't think those movies like especially the last couple well i think obviously they've sold enough if they're going to do four more movies they've been selling enough to <laughs> to warrant this yeah and i i I don't know. It it could be overseas. A lot of those types of movies do well overseas. Like, um, for some reason, whatever it is, they just. I mean, and they are pretty to look at. I mean, it's, when you think of it, they like our crap movies. We like their crap movies. So yeah. I mean, it's one of those. Of, I guess it makes sense. Cause yeah. Like you know, like we watch like the serious like you know foreign films, and we're like, oh, that's artistic, blah blah blah. And we're like, hey, did you guys see that stupid ass foreign film? <laughs> Like a what? crazy no budget foreign film. You're like, what? I gotta see that. You're like, oh my god, this is so like, horrible but awesome. They're like, you're stupid Americans. Yeah, that was our crap movie. It's and, like, and they're like, when is Transformers Six coming out? I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh, like, no. Oh, that's one of our crap movies. <laughs> oh, they're like, what? Michael Bay is a genius. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> no wonder we never get along with you, with everyone else in the world. Yeah, it's just God. Yeah, the fourth one just seemed like God. I was just like, what? Yeah. You're like, when you want, like, half the characters to die, you're like, I don't care about anybody. And not only that, I'm like, just, just please get rid of them. You're like, why are you dragging the, 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 the girl's boyfriend around? It's just like, at some point, I would have lost my patience. Been like, you know what? We're in the middle of a war zone. I'm just going to chuck you off the building. Just be like, nobody's going to notice. <laughs> and like, nobody's going to care. And like, oh, he's just another, you know. That's like, that'd be the one time where afterwards they're like, oh, by the way, we're going to convict you of murder you're like really <laughs> you're like he was a hindrance <laughs> yeah i i don't know um so like i've always normal. said with michael bay movie and there's some of his movies that i really like like the rock with okay. uh with uh nicholas cage and sean connery yep. uh, about the breaking into alcatraz to, to save the hostages or whatnot that was really good and it was there was a lot of explosions and the story is kind of like eh, um, whatever that uh acceptable whatever so but he's just I don't know. I guess he's just gotten worse. He's like, I want more explosions and less story. Yeah. Like, so it's getting getting worse. Well, because it's weird. Like all the transform movies are like, we're just gonna have like long bits of boring exposition that don't mean anything, and then we're just gonna say, you know what, fuck story, just explosion for like the second half of the movie. You're like, what's going on anymore? <laughs> You're like, why are these? Why are these guys just randomly joined? You're like, Whoa. and the the thing I. I've been watching these like video essays on YouTube. There's a couple, um, every frame of painting, and then the other one I just started watching, Nerd Writer. Okay. They they're all over the place on what they talk about, but they did talk about Michael Bay on one of them, and they said the the biggest problem is that he tries to make every shot really dynamic, like oh, uh, like yeah. for like like intimate like two people talking, like he he sets it like with a wide shot, and then you see like boats in the in the background and like skylines i'm like and they're they saying like why is he doing this like it's sure. a real intimate conversation between two people and he's set the shot out wide and like yeah, he, he never never cuts to a close-up or anything or maybe like once or twice i mean even then like yeah you you'd want like an over the shoulder of one person and you want the person talking to see yeah. you know their the emotion and stuff because you're like if it's yeah, especially if it's you know like a deep conversation or whatever mm -hmm. yeah you'd want to see their face you yeah. want to see he's like why is there so many layers to this shot whenever all the action is happening between the two people yeah. it's like that's and for action shots like he's known for his action action sequences yeah. they are really exciting well, when there's stuff going on in the background and yes i mean if, that's, if it's that's if when it's that's needed to, you know like if, if they're having a conversation and then all of a sudden like a spaceship crashes in the background you're like okay that's fine then you want a wide shot but mm -hmm. if not you know yeah, if, yeah, yeah, if no, yeah nothing's happening in the background or if it's not central to any part of the, anything then why are you showing it but he's just i guess in love with that kind of those kind of shots that's what the that's what the, they were talking about sure. and i don't know he's still has a job so i guess he knows his market or his audience. I mean, you sell them to the right crowd. I mean, it's one of those of when you find that niche, you know, yeah, those people will they'll keep buying it no matter how much crap it is. Maybe, he's like, like, it's, maybe it's going to get better. I like, no, no, it didn't. And then they keep still keep buying it. Anyway, like, why? Though. Yeah. Why am I going to do anything different? I'm just getting paid. Yeah. It's like, like, yeah. I mean, and that, that right there. I mean, if you ever want to stop this kind of crap, just don't go to it. I mean, that that's the simple thing. That, yeah. That's that's. That's what that's their one determinant on whether or not it's a success is if it makes money or not. Yeah, they're, so they're like don't care if it's a horrible movie if it makes money. It's like hey, that's a success to us. It's like yeah, the critics might be saying one thing, but these dollars that I'm getting, like every dollar is a vote for that thing. Yeah. That's like you're voting with your dollar. 
So every time you go to a movie or buy the DVD or, or buy yeah, the merchandise toys. or whatever, that's that dollar is you're voting for for that thing to succeed. Yeah, if, if the next movie comes out and then all of a sudden Transformer sales go down by like 50%, they're like, oh shit, we screwed up. We really screwed up. And they, they won't make the next yeah. three. Or unless there's contracts involved, they may still have to make the next three. But. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully if that is the case, which I'm thinking probably will be, like, it won't be that good. Hopefully they won't make the other three. That'd be... If, That'd it, be it, it my would dream. depend. It would be probably at some point where if it did so bad, they'd just say we're just if there is any contracts involved, we'll just eat the penalty fee and just <laughs> say you know what, it's not worth it. If this one yeah. lost us this much money, we're like, yeah, the, the next three are going to lose us even more money. I'm probably sure not a good idea. most most of those like movie contracts have some type of clause to get out of it some, somehow. Like oh, yeah, I, a penalty I, I would thing. Think or so if they like. if they were smart, yeah, I I would hope so. Yeah, I wouldn't see them making that. That seems like a bad deal. No, yeah, because like, they, they'd want definitely they'd want a oh shit button mm-hmm. just in case something <laughs> they're like no no crap crap we hey, 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 this isn't what we wanted. Yeah, and so yeah, so, so there's probably something where it's like each movie has to make at least some sort of minimum yeah. amount or yeah, something. Yeah, that would that would make sense to me as well. Um, and another thing I, I read. We it might we might be in luck anyway. It might just work out because they're saying that sequels and remakes aren't making as much money as they used to. Sure, they're they're, fi- they're finally on the, or getting to that point or past the point of diminishing returns. Yes. So so, so like yeah. like I, like I've always been toting why I'm not too much of a fan of superhero movies anymore is because it's just getting oversaturated, mm-hmm. and this is why. Yeah. They, that's all they're making now is you know. You're, you know, it's cookie cutter movies and mm-hmm. it's sequels and that's it. You know, or yeah. Spider Man oh. seven hundred and fifty. You're like, or, oh great, it's yeah. this. We've seen, you know, we're like, like okay, now we're now we have Venom with a top hat. <laughs> you know, because we ran out of ideas, <laughs> but like we, we gotta need, make more movies. We to need make more a money. ten minute dance scene of with Venom, and why? Because we so run out of ideas. Spider Man's now a punk rocker hippie, uh, hipster punk rocker. You're like, wait a second. Uh, yeah. So, but. What was I going to say? And that's what we talked about last episode too. They they just announced sequels or remakes of uh, Men in Black Four and uh, Ace Ventura. Met and both <laughs> both without uh, Men in Black Four without Will Smith and Ace Ventura without Jim Carrey. As Men in Black might have something if they do it same universe, just different, and like a different even, agent. Don't even really maybe do some minor nods to the original ones. Mm-hmm. I could see that because the Maybe. universe is pretty good. It could be, it, it could be interesting. Mm-hmm. Ace Ventura, I'm like, I don't think that'll do well now because they tried to do that with like you know like Dumb and Dumber and mm-hmm. like Three Stooges and stuff like that, and it just they, that, that comedy doesn't work nowadays. You know, it, back in what, it came, what, Ace Ventura came out what mid 90s. I would say yeah, 90s? 90s for sure. It was back in the 90s when we were kids, and yeah, and that was that was the type of stuff we liked back then. Yeah, now they, it's not so much. Yeah, that's and that is exactly what we were saying last last episode. Visual visual slapstick humor is pretty much non-existent these days. It's all like the Judd Apatow, uh, Will Ferrell type comedies where it's just all the comedy is with their dialogue. Yeah. It's just joke after joke after joke after joke. Sure. A silly situation. Yeah, it's more of the situation as opposed to the actual what they're doing. You know? Yeah, like Jim Carrey making weird movements and, and like talking out of his butt. It's funny, but it doesn't – it can't hold a whole movie. So – we were talking, yeah, Ace Ventura. It's like I don't see unless they change everything. I don't see that movie working without Jim Carrey. See, my my thing is, is it's, it's going to be you know like with all remakes. I'm like, who's going to you know? This is like going to be you know all the people who used to watch it are going to be like, well, it's not as good as it used to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who's, I mean, who's how are you going to how, how are you going to make it to get new people to get in on it? And they're going to be like, what the hell is this Ace Ventura? Yeah, and all the why, kids are going to be like, what's this Ace Ventura? Why you know? why is all the parents pet are like detectives? Yeah. Why why pet detectives? Can't you just post on Facebook and just have your entire community know about your lost pet. Yeah, so like, I mean, it's and yeah, nowadays, yeah, it doesn't make sense that yeah, like uh, yeah, who it's, knows? It's it's, it's going to be a different movie. Yeah, I I don't know. I I've never been that crazy about sequels and remakes and stuff, but I tolerate them. They're not all bad. Like the new, like some re- requires like not require, but some can use like the remakes because technology wasn't that good back then. Like sure. R- RoboCop, that. I always that's my fallback one. It's like it was pretty good. That that reboot was pretty good. Like the technology. I remember it was okay. I didn't I didn't think it was super great, but I also didn't think it was terrible. And, and I I, was like, eh, I right. also didn't think the original RoboCop was that great anyway too. So yeah. I mean that's here. It, it 
like looked better for sure. sure. Like the, I mean, it's iconic. The old RoboCop was iconic. Yeah. So, but the new technology, it made it look cool too. So, sure. so like things like that, I understand, but, uh, taking like franchises like that, I don't, I didn't see it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cause Ace it's Venture. one of those of, especially since it's been what, like 20 years since yeah. the last one, you're like, or not even that long, but Ooh, like, yeah, why, about- why, you know, you're, you're, you know, like the people who, who would possibly want it don't really want it mm-hmm. and the people who don't know about it don't know about it so it's like you know <laughs> yeah why would they care yeah who's who are they who are they trying to get money from it's like there's it's like because it'd be people my age our age would be the ones who'd want it and we don't and we don't want it. we don't want it we're like why do we want it we're like, <laughs> like it, it we was, have it we, was okay back in the day you're like now it's like no we don't like that stuff anymore mm-hmm. and i mean those movies still play i mean you can watch ace ventura and it still be like part of it still be nostalgia or whatnot, but it's still good. I mean, there's nothing like really outdated that much. I yeah. mean, technology, whatever. Yeah, of course. But but uh, those movies still are funny. Like there's, it's not like they're like you can't watch them today. Like it's like you know what I watched Ace Ventura and I, I it didn't play well. Like his his joke about the dolphin wasn't like relevant anymore. It's like it's it's fine. Like don't change it. Like, so I think of it, we haven't really had any good like current animal things happening. You know, when you think about it, I mean, there's really nothing going on nowadays with animal related. So you're like, what what type of jokes are they gonna make? Yeah, I mean, l- the like lion thing, or Cecil the lion. I mean, that that'd be about I mean, it. But you know, you're like, okay, but, great. There's your one hook, and yeah, and that's kind of over, kind of. I mean, I heard like the dentist is back in America now, yeah. but I don't haven't heard anything about it like i know he's got like death threats or something but we haven't heard that he died and it's a pet detective so he wouldn't be searching i don't know who knows, uh, who who knows? knows? yeah we're like we, we don't know we <laughs> like, have no idea what we, we were saying it could be like they could like a gritty they can make it gritty and dark then you're like, what but then it's bro- like then it's like dumb like that's like that's like an snl sketch yeah, like, that's weird when you take a when you do a reboot and then you try to change the genre completely you're just like wait a second yeah and i don't think ace ventura will work any other way than slapstick and just yeah. slapstick <coughs> sorry isn't playing right now like it's just not there's not really any visual humor these days it's all yeah dialogue which <clears throat> yeah, witty, witty humor, more yeah. of the, the smart humor or whatever. Yeah, like I mean, the visual humor that we have these days, or like Edgar Wright, like uh, um, Scott Pilgrim, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, like that. There's some visual humor there, but that's with like graphics and, and sure, stuff like that's that. with special effects and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that that's Different. that's the that's you know that's more of to back up mm-hmm. stuff that's on camera as opposed yeah. to you know it's not like that's the sole purpose is. You know. mm-hmm. It could it could have been done without all that stuff. It it's amazing i really like that stuff that's movies amazing like yeah. it, it's well, the way like that the, slapstick and stuff it works with animation and stuff because i'm like you still see a little bit of that in south oh, yeah. park oh. but it, that's usually like you know like what i love about south park is that, that like all their stupid shit they like there's usually a point behind it it's mm-hmm. like that you may have to stop sometimes stop and kind of go what the hell are they referencing here and then you're like oh okay yeah. I, I know what they're referencing oh and yeah we were talking about this before this recent season has been really good like yeah, every, so each one of those each one of the episodes like have like a, like and this is like the first time i've actually like set out to watch all of them yeah. like i've caught episodes back then and i've always liked it i just never yeah like this is the first season that i, I, I i've like i've caught it here and there the last couple of seasons but like this is one where i've actually yeah like like jimmy i've actually watched every one so far mm-hmm. like it's an actual continuing story which i think is really interesting mm-hmm because you look at all these types of shows, and normally they're like, yes, they make references to previous stuff, but they're really not like an actual continual story. Mm-hmm. You're like, you know, episode twenty four does not mm-hmm. impact twenty five, yeah. you know, in, in a major way. You're like, mm-hmm. yes, in episode twenty five they may reference twenty four, but it's like it's not like if twenty four happened completely differently than twenty five, it happened differently. Mm-hmm. But, but it's like this season so far, you're like, yes, yeah, if the events in episode one were different. Two and three would be completely mm-hmm. different. Yeah, because. Um, what were what was uh because episode three this last one like episode four is coming out pretty soon i think uh or maybe Sometime not this week i mean within a week um but uh like tuesday or wednesday i think yeah, is when it comes episode, out episode episode three was about like um gentrification essentially yeah. like 
Uh, they're trying to take an old rundown neighborhood and make it hip keep, and keep it and then like build basically build like fancy buildings around it like yeah. like uh, um i saw a documentary on what was it san francisco mm-hmm. how, how pretty much they had all the the tech companies were moving in mm-hmm. and they were buying up all the old parts of town and basically just saying all right you you mm-hmm. poor people you people without money you kind of just go get shoved in the corner and <laughs> we want this area for fancy rich people yeah and now, they- now we're, we're basically putting money you know we're, we're basically forcing you into smaller and smaller you know we're forcing you out of the city because mm-hmm. yeah. it's like no you can't if you can't afford it too bad and it was uh and it's it's true like they like you you've ever you all hear like um like where they take a play like exactly what you said and they name it something like some acronym and yeah. that's what they did i don't know the ex- entire soda it, sopa i think yeah, is what they call it was it like in. south of s- south of down Something like that. Something it, it, really weird. They said yeah. it in the episode, I think. But it, but yeah, like soda sopa is what <laughs> they're calling it. And they had all these like fake commercials about it, and like using like live action people. Yeah, like it was, South it Park was does. pretty good. Yeah, it um, was a mixture of live action and the animation. It was, it was they were pretty good. You, you should go check that out if you haven't. It was pretty good. Episode two was that about uh, PC political correctness? Or it was, was that one? about uh, they, they, PC, PC was the first one. Mm-hmm. Second one was kind of they, they made reference to Caitlyn Jenner and okay. stuff like that. So it was kind of a little bit of a continuation of the mm-hmm. the, the PC stuff, but yeah. but it was mostly on like Caitlyn Jenner mm-hmm. and they're you know saying you know we're you know we're kind of like well I don't think she's really that much of a hero mm-hmm. and it's like and then and everybody's I, getting pissed off at her because they're like oh she's a hero blah 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 yeah like, like yeah doing what? what what did she what did she do that somebody else hasn't already done you know like, what has she done that's heroic mm-hmm. not much yeah no i exactly and that's what's good about like like each one of the S- south park episodes and it's been like this forever each one has a message yes and this season is it's just like each one of the messages are just like like continual like they yeah. just they just like it, it, they found like a certain theme, and they're like, okay, we're gonna use each episode to say uh, t- to tackle a particular point mm-hmm. in this theme, and it's and, it, and it's really good yeah. so far. You're like, this is cool because mm-hmm. I mean, you know, and what's what's really nice is what I'm starting to see is they're really starting to make their character human, mm-hmm. you know, because oh, like this yeah, current episode, this they're, last they're, one. we're not gonna spoil the scene, but they they added like a superhuman element to, to kenny mm-hmm. and you're like whoa yeah. i didn't expect no, yeah. that an actual like a moment where you're like wow that's not, really a feel-good moment in south park you're like yeah. what is this not not superhuman not like super abilities Superhero, yeah. super human like actual human, human. humanity like, like yeah they, like, the, like you're like yeah. for once you're like you're, you're like it, it's a cartoon but they're it like, looks whoa. like you're like wow that they add you know really human emotion yeah. to it which and you're like wow matt stone and trey parker what season is this is it not 27 that seems it's a lot it I, could be it's actually but, I, might know, not. I, but it's I've, like i'm going for a while forever I mean, how long they're doing they're still i mean it's still good like and the you, fact that they do this all in a week you know they're like care. they do it weekly when they do it You're and like, i've, God, I've talked i don't know if i said it on the podcast but six days to air or yeah. something or I, I, uh, what something was like, that on nbc or abc or I'm something not, like i'm not it? sure i saw it online it's yeah. it's available online it's, yeah it was a documentary that one of the one of the major channels did mm-hmm. on it and that was pretty interesting yeah and they <laughs> that's why it's so topical that's yeah. why they can because like simpsons like they do their episodes months beforehand yeah like or like essentially months beforehand so they're not going to get anything that topical they'll they'll get the gist of topical stuff but like those are stuff where you're like wait that was a reference to something that happened months ago yeah where, you know south park is like oh that literally just happened on the news two days ago yeah you're like, holy like, crap what is that yeah. doing there yeah so it's kudos to those guys well it's, when you look at it i think also it's partially that the, the way that they do the animation style i mm-hmm. mean because you know with simpsons i mean they, they probably do a little bit of the cart you know the, or it's, it's a mixture of hand-drawn and computer graphics now mm-hmm. where south park it's all in maya and yeah, i mean it's, essentially yeah. it's it's literally just like really it's like their old stuff was like the paper cutouts and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then they just animated it that way where now it's like it basically maya they've had it to where now it's just a computer version of that yeah so it's, you can you can animate it real quick mm-hmm. yeah and yeah so it's really just getting the story down like and they break it all down in the uh, in that documentary like they get the story and then they they write it and then they well also what helps is that pretty much their only voice actors are more or less them too them too so yeah. that right there helps a lot with them you know they don't have to worry about schedules, work around schedules and stuff because like well we're this is our job this is what we do we're mm-hmm. here already we just go into the recording you know we write it up real quick get some scripts and then we you know maybe we we write a couple of scenes or whatever go in 
record them, see how they work, and then you know they probably you know mm-hmm. it'd be you kind of go back and forth. Yeah, since it, it's, it's like that's all they do. Mm-hmm. So it's yep. like yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that's 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 why like a lot of the things that are done by like a small group of people, like it's it's amazing like what a small group of people can do. But then you kind of think about it, it's like they didn't they don't have to worry about all the minutia of like large groups the have business to deal stuff with, yeah. yeah they don't have to do with the business th- there's some business stuff but they don't have to go through the bureaucratic crap of okay you know all right what time are you available okay <laughs> you can't be here monday wednesday friday you can only be here you know like Tuesday, it'll Thursday. like for shows like that like i would assume like it takes just like a week to schedule everything no. <laughs> and then then they actually have to get it started like them like it's it one week. Like, we just go. We're like, we're here. All right, writers. So what do we, what do we got? We come. Up, we, they start pitching some ideas, and then probably within, you know, maybe a day or two, they're they're already off and recording. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and I, I don't want it to stop, but eventually it'll stop, and I guess that'll be. Like it depends on how they do it. Like eventually, uh, they'll have to try to move on to something else. I mm-hmm. think. Well, you know, and, and they've done other things like Team America. They did yeah. that movie like with the puppets, and then they did a a play, a Broadway uh, play, Book, uh, of Mormon. Book of Mormon. Yep. And that's Same I that. think getting made a, into a movie. Is it really? Yeah. Hmm. Like, and it's also coming to San Antonio at like pr- pretty soon. And I'm like, the Book of Mormon? Yeah. It's already been by San. Antonio. Well, I know, but it's coming back again yeah, yeah. i was gonna say like it, i didn't a, i didn't see it the first time it, it has already in. been I, I i saw it oh it you did here how, in San Antonio. How was I, it? I remember it being pretty good i think i was, I was still kind of getting used to new schedule so i was a little sleepy oh, okay. i think i slept through a little bit of it uh, but but i do remember yeah. it being oh, yeah. pretty good and yeah it was if you've seen south park you more or less have the gist of the type of jokes like that they're what gonna they do, do. but do. it was musical yeah. yeah and it like won awards and stuff yeah. like it's it's it was, what is, what is uh the tonys i think so for plays i think so and they they won that kind of stuff, and it's it's. No, I mean it was good. I mean I, I've like because like if I ever go to theater, those are the types of stuff I've watched. Like mm-hmm. a lot of Mel Brooks plays, I've mm-hmm. seen those. Like uh, their Spam a lot. I saw mm-hmm. that. That was really oh, good. That's cool. So, I've I mean, never seen. Oh, I've seen plays like like at like college and stuff like yeah. that. But I've never seen any actual like. Uh, I mean, I, I've been to comedy ones. A lot mm-hmm. of the comedy ones yeah. I've been to. I could, yeah, I could. Like but, Young Frankenstein was one. Oh, God, that's what so else cool. did I go to? Um, we saw the producers mm-hmm. up in uh, Washington D.C. That I've was seen really good. The movies, was, yeah, yeah, the play that. was good too. I mean, it, it it was, yeah, it was the movie, but in play form. I mean, it was, it was really good. You know, I I think I would like plays. I just never have gone to any. Like I I don't like really going places. And well, because have you ever been to the Majestic Theater? Here I in think Disney? on like a field trip, like at first oh, school, awesome. but I've never been there as oh, like actually going to a thing that I wanted to go see. Yeah, because I mean, oh, I've, I've been there several times, and it's always you know fun going there. Mm-hmm. I I need to. I guess that's something I. It's sh- a really cool little theater. Is right? it? Is it always like packed? It depends on the, the the event. Okay. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Because I mean, every know. every time I see like a play being done in a movie, it's always. I know that's always fic- it's fictional, of course, but for it's mo- always packed, and I'm just like. Eh. For the most part, yes, I've I- I've seen. You know, for the most part, it, you know, if it's like a play, generally, mm-hmm. yes, it'll be full. You know, like I've been because we saw like Lewis Black and stuff and we noticed there's seats here and there and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, I mean, it's I would like to see a comedy show, too. Like uh, L- Lewis Black, I saw some of his specials and they're always funny. Um, but yeah, I, I need to go do things like that was a, a joke, like like in like the beginning of this podcast it's like jimmy like forcing jimmy to go do stuff like because i never do anything i just like eh, i don't want to do it sure it's it's I mean, we work seems all the time, so i mean that, doesn't that help. and i i'm not really kind of a, a place person like i'm i'm just like eh. but if it's something i like i'm like that's the reason i haven't seen the martian that's yeah. part of the reason I'm working but like i don't want to go to a packed theater and so that's kind sure. of the thing well, I understand that. Yeah. Especially but, if you're going to go by yourself. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting there crying by everybody else who's there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, but that's that's fine. Um, so South Park, I'd say definitely watch watch yes. that season. Like, it's there. They're all getting – there's a fourth episode coming up. So check it out. We'll see I'd how see. it goes. I mean, it, it's been really interesting so far. And, like, Comedy Central, I think they may – I don't know. I don't. They may have the episodes online. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe, maybe. Because I, mean, I know they've had like I used to watch like Colbert. Yeah, eventually, yes, they will put them online. Whether or not they're going to put this current season up online just yet, I don't know. It might. It might. They be. may wait a little bit. Maybe wait till the season's over and then put them all up. But mm-hmm. yes, eventually, at some point in time, it will be online. Yeah. So, and I mean, just Comedy Central. Just go find it, or you can find them online somehow. 
wink, wink, nod, wink, nod. wink, nod, nod. Make sure you're wearing an eye patch and have a a parrot on your shoulder. Yes, but uh, uh not that we condone any, not <laughs> not that we condone any of that kind of stuff. If you do it, you're at your own risk. We didn't tell you nothing. <laughs> oh no, we are getting arrested. <laughs> we haven't even put this online yet. Um, but uh, let's see. I guess real quick, the last thing. Um, well, there's some other things we can talk about, but. Uh, people have you ever oh that app that, or whatever that, that people that, talking uh, about? yeah this if you haven't heard of it it's called people and essentially it's an upcoming it's not out yet but it's uh like a person rating app. Yelp, like, but for people is it, what, exactly, what i was yeah, hearing it described is. as so and i'm fine with it like i understand some because a lot of people are criticizing it saying yeah. like this is going to be so negative it's a bad idea it's like well the idea is is what what it sounds like is it depends on how they handle the making sure you're an actual you 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 are actually who you are representing yourself as. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If they do some sort of like real background check or something to say yes, Jim Bob is actually Jim Bob mm-hmm. and not Jan Doe or something, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you're like, okay, now now we can actually get somewhere because now mm-hmm. now it's when it's you, you are actually rating somebody, mm-hmm. and they will know. Well, hey, this guy's talking shit about me. Yeah. You know? And and there's things that. Like they're saying that you can dispute the the reviews and things like that. I'm um, curious on what exactly that means. What that means, like it just means. Does that like, mean it, I flag it and then it just disappears? Because you know, like, how are you like really going to prove it? It's like no, I didn't do that. Those things, and they're like, uh, okay, deleted. Yeah. Or it's like, well, that's the YouTube style of things right now. They're like, if you have a copyright complaint, it just automatically just goes boop. All right, yeah. nope. So, we, we're gonna take somebody's claiming copyright. We have to pull your video down. It, it's mm-hmm. not. It's not. Hey, let's investigate. Make sure there's actually. Yeah. Because actually, I think they were trying to add some sort of a clause in that kind of stuff saying, well, they actually need to have a legitimate, you know, they have mm-hmm. to make sure it's not fair use first before they make a claim, yeah. which is. Because, yeah, I've heard a lot of like the educational stuff or the parody stuff yeah. have been taken down. Which you're like, no, you can't use that. This is completely that's, illegal. That's law. That's, that's we, Yeah, this is an American law. law. Mm-hmm. We said if you use what, under 30 seconds and it's a parody of it and not. Yeah, and or, they're not making any money off of it. You're allowed to do it. That's, or yeah, or or uh, for educational use. So, yeah, same thing with no like no money. Yeah, because I mean, like there's yeah. like the videos of like them making entire like I, I remember seeing they made a copyright video out of all Disney quotes. Mm-hmm. And they're like, we can get away with this because of fair use. And, yeah, and they were explaining fair use with Disney quotes. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, back to the the people app. I mean, it, it's. If they have proper moderation, it could work. Mm-hmm. And I, I was saying this. I thought like this existed. Like I, I maybe at, like for like small scale. In an but this odd is getting way, a lot like of you look at Facebook and stuff like yeah. that. Because if if you you know <clears throat> the way you track you know ratings is how many likes you get. Yeah, that's true. Because they don't have dislike button. You or can't, friends or something like that. Like, yeah, I mean you know if, if you're a well liked person, you're gonna have lots of friends. Mm-hmm. You know if you you know and also you, at that point you can gauge on if, if you actually know them and. You know, if you've met them in real life versus if they're just mm-hmm. random people you found on the internet, and you can also do that. You know, mm-hmm. there's there's ways to gauge it. But I guess this but, is more direct. This is actual giving you a number score, like blank out of ten. Yeah. That, that's that's your rating now. And uh, they did this. Uh, what was it? Um, no, in community they did a, a, a like an app thing where like you get like um, so many. Like I think there was like it was like cap like meow points or something like that like it was like a dumb like app thing but it like spread throughout the school and like they're like people ha- who had like four stars yeah. and above were like the higher higher class and then like it's like you're just a three star get 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 down and then like they had like one of the main characters was like a like a two star yeah. and he like built himself up to like and like challenge the system and stuff like that and it was <laughs> Uh, so like real life, pretty much. You're like an actual <laughs> representation of real life. It's yeah. like, do you have money? Yep, you're four or five star. If you don't have money, you're you're two star or whatever. Yeah. So and that was it was pretty funny. So I'm fine with it. I I try my best not to be a jerk to people. Sure. So the only yeah, that's like, my goal in life is to go through life with pissing the least amount of people possible. Because yeah. every once in a while, I'm gonna have to piss somebody off. Mm-hmm. There's not any way around it. You know, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's not a no. better. You know, that that's how humans are. There's mm-hmm. some people that you're just not gonna not gonna not piss them off yeah yeah it, and yeah and with the amount of people and all that kind of stuff sometimes you're, you'll get conflicts and whatnot but that's human nature exactly and we the, hate each other and the, we like each other at the same time it's so weird. so yeah the the if 
it were to come because it's not out yet and they're getting all this flack. But I, I, I oh, it'll come it's, out. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. And especially, yeah, they're I, getting I, so much pressure. With all right the publicity, now, it, it's yeah. gonna come out. I mean, it's like obviously, you know, it's it's one of those things. If, of, yeah, if they don't, someone else is gonna be like, people are talking about it when yeah. it comes out. Everybody's gonna like this thing. Yeah, it's gonna, it's you, already. No matter the yeah, no. All you people bitching is about it, publicity. you are helping them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, You're getting their name out now. Yeah. Everybody's gonna go, what is this app? Oh, yeah. hey, this app has come out. Let's see what the hell it does. Yeah, I mean, and. I mean, you as long as you have like a cell phone number or something. Like, I forgot. Like we, there was a story on on, on TV about it uh, about like kind of the more details. I forgot them pretty much all the details. But um, I guess like if I was on it, like the only because a lot of like you always hear in retail. Like my last job was retail, and most of the time you get reviews or anything, yep. it's always negative. Like there's like if you if you have a bad experience with a customer, well, it's like that'll those, spread more than a good experience with a customer. You are more likely to talk about something bad that happened than you are to talk about something good that yeah. happens. And that, that's human nature. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, when you look at work, think of it. What do you remember? You remember all the bad stuff, and yeah. you, you, you don't remember the good stuff. Yeah, you the know? good stuff is... What do you do? You, you, you complain to another coworker that they did something wrong as opposed to, you know, you do something good. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's why I try to always... Make sure you know. I, I tell people good job and stuff. Mm-hmm. I thank them and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just because it's, it, you know, it's, we need more of that. Mm-hmm. We need more of that positive. You know, and that's what they wanted do- wanted this app to be. Yeah, like a, a more positive than anything. Like you want a better score, be a better person. Like that's what they're saying. Yeah. Like, which, so I mean, it depends on you know. I, I'd still have to see exactly what they do. I mean, you know, how it works and stuff like and like the the flagging thing or and they said there's like no profanity and no race or no racism or racism or sexism yeah they're like not supposedly not none of that's which is good but I like mean, i said obviously. unless they have dedicated moder if they try to have it do auto mod it's like yeah eh, it's gonna be hit like, or miss yeah, but if I mean, they have if, to, if they have actual dedicated moderators like mm-hmm. a lot of them then it could it could possibly work yeah out. if it just Maybe. flags words it like de- that's not that's not too, that's not enough it depends on how serious these guys are if they're mm-hmm. just putting an app just to put their name on the map yeah it's not going to go anywhere but mm-hmm. if they're actually really serious about making this something that could possibly be positive and they mm-hmm. put a lot of work into it it could happen yeah no, it's going to be a shit ton of work because so internet sh- is full of assholes yeah. so they're going to have to get over that hurdle because mm-hmm. you know you're going to have that that's going to be the biggest thing because they're going to have to really watch that anonymous stuff mm-hmm. you know and yeah that's true that's and it's going to be the biggest hurdle and like any type of new social media like it's barrier to market like the barrier to market or barrier to profitability or anything like that is crazy right now like the big like the big names are big and they're established so anything new is kind of has to be really good yeah like i mean we got facebook and twitter and like we have other ones like uh instagram instagram and i guess snapchat i guess is getting i mean it's out there it's it's and that's really it yeah there's smaller ones and there's probably like niche ones. Google Play is kind of, the only reason Google Play is still around is because of Google. Oh, Google Plus, yeah. Or Google Plus, whatever. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, and and that's kind of getting phased out because now you don't need one of those to have a YouTube channel. That yeah. was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, that pissed off a lot of people. It pissed off all the YouTubers who are like, why do we have to, you know, we have to interact with our people on our YouTube channel through our Google you know, yeah. Plus account? And you're like, why, why, why do I need a, why do I need two different accounts just to talk to people? Yeah. On one website. So yeah, I, so it's it'll be tough, but if they do it right, it's possible to be really good. Yeah. So, so we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. So, um, who knows? We're getting pretty close to an hour. Is there any uh, other thing? Um, yeah, not really. Nothing, nothing much this not, week. Not I mean. really much. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna plan on seeing the Martian this upcoming week at some point, and I'll talk about it. I'll be sleeping all week, pretty yeah. much. My free time will be sleeping and I, probably working on school work. That'll be about it. Yeah, there we go. So we'll talk about that as well. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's gonna be our episode. Um, we'll be back next Monday with the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I one more plus whatever this episode is. I, there we go. Yep. Um, that was our outro. Oh, yeah. Uh, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> uh, like us on Facebook. I'll, I'll, that's what we're doing. I'm now announcing <laughs> stuff where you can find us. <laughs> Yes, I am now saying to follow us on Twitter, and now I'm saying to <laughs> like us on Facebook. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Not much is going on right now. Um, yeah, we're kind of in a phase where we're super yeah. busy, so we unfortunately we don't have the time. To and really make and stuff. I've been uh, kind of working, like trying to make like a like articles and stuff like that on, on or on stuff I'm doing. It's on uh, a logical. Because I mean, I, I think I'll try to start 
maybe I think I may have enough free time to maybe just write up some stuff, but it's just it's hard. It's yeah, time no, it's to sit down, especially video projects. Uh, uh, oh, as yeah, much as I've been saying, I've been wanting to do it for forever. It's tough with both work and school. I just do not have the time for yeah. it. But I uh, mean, once I get done with school and transition over to there, then yes, I'll probably have a lot more time to do it. <laughs> but right now, I, I simply don't have the time yeah. for it. I mean, I, I want to. Well, yeah, I don't have the energy for it either. No, that makes like, no. It's that, and that's fine. So at the very least, you'll get a. We'll have a new episode every Monday. Yeah. We'll, so we'll, at, the, at a minimum, we may. That, you know, may, maybe I'll try to start doing some articles because that's something that I can sit down and write something up. Maybe take mm-hmm. a couple of pictures of stuff. You know, that's yeah. something I can do easily. Yeah. yeah and I can try to find some nerd articles and do some stuff definitely. on that. And uh, just well, some minimum stuff. Yeah. And if you're subscribed to uh, any one of our social media stuff, you'll get links to all that stuff. So. Um, definitely do that to stay up to date and everything but uh, that's it thank you for listening we'll be back next Monday later